Grammy Award winner Alan Jackson has enjoyed success as a country music superstar. But did you know without his wife Denise, Alan Jackson might not have become a superstar? To let the world know more about her dad, Alan's daughter has revealed more about him and fans are eager to know about this graceful musician. What challenges did Alan Jackson face with his music and life? How did his wife Denise help him to become a superstar? What more has the talented superstar hidden from everyone? Does he act differently to his children than he does to his fans? Are there any dark secrets about him? Join us as we explore Alan Jackson's life, catch up with what he has been up to, and reveal what his daughter has to say about him. Fueled by a passion for music and a dream of stardom, Alan Jackson left his small town of Noonan, Georgia, to chase the spotlight in Nashville. It was the 1980s, and country music was undergoing a revolution, and little did Jackson know that his unique mix of traditional and modern styles would be the game changer for country music. What do we mean? Born on October 17, 1958, in the small town of Noonan, Georgia, Alan Jackson was the youngest child in his family. His life was devoid from the dysfunctionality that has become synonymous with people who eventually become superstars. His childhood was filled with joy, even though they didn't have much when he was growing up. While they were poor in finances, they were rich in the soothing sounds of gospel music he listened to at church and the classic country tunes of legends like Hank Williams and Merle Haggard. These early influences sparked his love for music and set him on a path that would eventually lead him to greatness. As a teenager, Alan Jackson was showing massive potential. He was already making waves in the local music scene, performing in a country duo and later joining the band Dixie Steel. His passion for music was so strong that Jackson dropped out of school and married his high school sweetheart, Denise, on December 15, 1979. Alan Jackson and Denise have a love story that is like the lyrics of a country song. Their first encounter was at a Dairy Queen, where Alan, with his charming smile and easygoing nature, caught Denise's eye. They started dating soon after, and their relationship blossomed. Married and out of high school, Alan pursued his dream of becoming a country music star, while Denise supported him wholeheartedly. The early years of their marriage were filled with struggles and sacrifices. Alan worked various odd jobs, from construction work to operating a forklift, including as a car salesman and in the mailroom at the Nashville Network, all while playing in small clubs across Georgia. The future didn't look bright for Alan Jackson's music career. His wife Denise believed that he was massively talented and would become a star. She supported him and was ready to help him show his talent to the world. She worked as a flight attendant and would always go everywhere with his demo tape. Then in 1985, a miracle happened. Denise, who was working as a flight attendant, met country star Glenn Campbell at an airport in 1985. Seizing the moment, she handed him Alan's demo tape. This chance encounter led to a songwriting contract with Campbell's music publishing company which eventually led to Alan's big break in the music industry. Their journey from a small town couple to one of country music's most beloved pairs is a testament to their enduring love and partnership. Jackson wanted to be more than just a songwriter. He wanted to perform and bring his style of music to the world. So in 1987, Alan and Denise packed their bags and moved to Nashville, the heart of country music. Alan took a job in the Nashville Network's mailroom, but his eyes were always on the prize. He spent every spare moment writing songs and performing wherever he could. However, it wasn't an easy path. Jackson's early days in Nashville were marked by struggle and perseverance. He wrote songs for other artists and continued to do so for Glenn Campbell and Tanya Tucker, while continuing to perform and develop his own style, which was a blend of country music twang, clever lyrics, and a dash of rock influence. His hard work paid off in 1989 when he became the first artist signed to the country division of Arista Records. The following year, his debut album, Here in the Real World, hit the shelves, featuring hits like Chasing That Neon Rainbow and the title track, Here in the Real World. 
This album marked the start of Alan's incredible rise to stardom. The 1990s were a golden era for Alan Jackson. His second album, Don't Rock the Jukebox, released in 1991, included hits like the title track and Someday, solidifying his place in country music. Do you remember his eerie inspired song, Midnight in Montgomery? Some of his fans may have suspected the story attached to this song, but for a few, it might be just one big news to digest. During this time, something truly strange happened, adding a mysterious chapter to his story. According to Allen, while visiting Hank Williams' grave in Montgomery, Alabama, 1991, Allen experienced something that would stay with him forever. As he stood by the legendary singer's resting place, he felt an eerie presence that sent chills down his spine. The air around him seemed to grow colder, and he couldn't shake the feeling that he wasn't alone. This spine-tingling moment inspired Alan's most haunting song, Midnight in Montgomery. Back home and away from the spotlight, Alan and Denise gave birth their first child, Maddie Denise Jackson, on June 19, 1990. Maddie's childhood had ordinary family moments and the extraordinary world of country music fame of her father. Growing up as the eldest daughter of a country music legend, Maddie naturally took on a leadership role within the family. Her parents, Alan and Denise, taught her the values of hard work, humility and compassion, which have shaped her into the person she is today. From a very young age, she was a bright and curious child eager to explore the world around her. Growing up, Maddie experienced the best of both worlds, both public and mostly private. Her parents made sure that despite Alan's fame, their home life remained as normal as possible. They lived in a cozy house in Nashville where family dinners, school events, and weekend outings were the norm. Denise was the rock of the family, managing the household and ensuring Maddie had a stable environment to grow in. Family was always a priority for the Jacksons. Alan, despite his busy touring schedule, made it a point to be present for important moments. Maddie didn't stay the only child for long, welcoming a younger sibling a few years later. Before then, Alan released another album in 1992, a lot about living and a little about love, featuring the iconic Chattahoochee, a song that became an anthem for country fans and won multiple awards a year after that successful album, Alan and Denise had Alexandra Jane Jackson. After Alexandra, they had Danny in 1997. Danny enjoyed a relatively quieter life and pursued her education and personal interests away from the limelight, maintaining. Growing up with a famous father wasn't always easy for the Jackson girls. They had to navigate the pressures of public scrutiny and the demands of Alan's career. However, Alan and Denise made a concerted effort to keep their family life as normal as possible. They prioritized family time and ensured that their daughters understood the importance of humility and hard work. It wasn't easy to do. While Alan's fame brought unique experiences and opportunities for the family, it also required sacrifices. Denise often took on the role of both parents when Alan was on tour ensuring that their daughters had a stable and nurturing environment. But as she did this and tried to support her husband, trouble loomed. In the late 1990s, Alan's absence couldn't be ignored any longer, and his marriage hit a rough patch that led to a brief separation. This period was marked by heartache and uncertainty, but it also became a turning point that ultimately strengthened their bond. One of the primary challenges they faced was a breakdown in communication. Alan's demanding career and constant touring made it difficult for them to maintain open and honest conversations. Misunderstandings and feelings of disconnect grew, creating a rift between them. The physical distance from Alan's tours only added to the emotional gap, leaving Denise feeling lonely and unsupported. While Alan grappled with the pressures of his career and the guilt of being away from his family, they couldn't trust each other again as their communication had become non-existent. Rebuilding this trust was crucial for their reconciliation. Both Alan and Denise had to confront their personal issues and grow individually. This period of separation forced them to reflect on their behaviors and how they contributed to their marital problems. With their faith playing a crucial role, they sought counseling, 
worked on their communication and made a conscious effort to prioritize their relationship. Slowly but surely, they began to rebuild their relationship. They communicated more openly, addressing the issues that had driven them apart. They also made a conscious effort to spend more quality time together, rekindling the spark that had brought them together in the first place. In the midst of all this, Alan's career continued to flourish. One of the most touching moments in Alan's career came after the September 11th attacks in 2001. He wrote, Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning? A song that captured the nation's grief and resilience. This heartfelt tribute won awards for Song of the Year from both the Country Music Association, CMA, and the Academy of Country Music, ACM, as well as a Grammy Award for Best Country Song. Alan's personal life has also been a source of inspiration for his music. His song, Drive for Daddy Jean, is a touching tribute to his father, reflecting on the lessons and memories they shared. Alan doesn't make his immense success about himself. He has always remained grounded, crediting his wife, Denise, for her unwavering support throughout his career. Their love story, from high school sweethearts to navigating the ups and downs of fame together, adds a heartfelt dimension to his legacy and something his fans feel inspired by. Alan Jackson's influence on country music is undeniable. With over 20 albums released, including two Christmas albums and two gospel albums, his music continues to inspire new generations of artists and fans alike. His induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2017 and the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2018 are testaments to his enduring impact on the genre. Allen was not the only one in the Jacksons family that had a series of successes in his life. His daughters were not far off in their endeavors. Maddie, the oldest Jackson sister, has paved her own unique path. After graduating from the University of Tennessee with a degree in creative writing, she became a wine expert and even owned a wine bar in Nashville. Beyond that, Maddie co-founded Nashville, an organization dedicated to supporting women and children in need, particularly orphans, widows, and trafficked women. She married Ben Seligman in 2017, but tragically, he passed away 11 months later after a freak accident. She was able to move on from this heart-wrenching loss and found love again with Connor Smith. The couple recently welcomed their first child, a son named Wesley Allen Smith, in June 2024. Maddie's sister, Alexandra, has always had a close relationship with her father, Allen. While she hasn't pursued a career in the entertainment industry, she has made a name for herself in other ways. Alexandra is known for her strong presence on social media. Alexandra fell in love and got married to Sam Bradshaw on July 18, 2020, in a beautiful ceremony that included her sisters as bridesmaids. The couple welcomed their first child, a son named Jackson Bradshaw, in December 2022. She is more outgoing and on social media, she shares insights into her life and family. Alexandra often posts about her family life, sharing adorable photos of her son and heartfelt messages about the joys and challenges of motherhood. She has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts, just like her older sister, supporting causes close to her heart. Danny, on the other hand, chose a more private path compared to her siblings. She has a keen interest in fashion and has pursued this passion through her education and personal endeavors. Danny's love for fashion is evident in her stylish appearances at public events, where she often turns heads with her impeccable sense of style. While she keeps a lower profile, Danny's influence within her family is significant, often being described as the glue that holds them together. As Danny's personal life is more private, not a lot is known about her. She has been a supportive presence for her sisters and parents, often participating in family events and celebrations. It is speculated that she must have been there for Maddie when she lost her first husband, Ben. The story of Maddie's loss is devastating. Ben, who was an assistant district attorney in Nashville, was helping a woman onto a boat during a family gathering. He slipped and hit his head and had severe head trauma. He was given immediate medical attention and got subsequent surgeries. Unfortunately, he passed away a few weeks later. The grief was overwhelming. 
and Maddie found herself navigating a dark and painful journey. But she wasn't alone. During this time, her family, especially her parents, Alan and Denise, became her pillars of support. Alan and Denise Jackson were there for Maddie every step of the way. They provided her with the emotional support she needed, offering a shoulder to cry on and a listening ear. Alan, known for his calm and steady presence, was a source of strength for his daughter. He often shared his own experiences and wisdom, helping her find a way to cope with her immense loss. As part of her healing process, Maddie turned to writing. She co-authored the book, Lemons on Friday, with her mother, Denise. The book is a raw and honest account of her journey through grief, detailing the pain of losing Ben and the steps she took to find hope and healing. Writing the book allowed Maddie to process her emotions and reflect on the support she received from her family, particularly her father. The father and daughter bond became so strong that Alan played a significant part when Maddie wrote a song about this experience. The song, titled Racing the Dark, was a collaborative effort between Alan and his daughter. The inspiration for Racing the Dark came from Maddie. As she was approaching the two-year anniversary of Ben's death, she found herself writing down lyrics that captured her emotions and experiences. That was such an accident on my part. I'm certainly not a musician, but the lyrics just came to me one day coming up on the two-year anniversary of Ben's death. She brought these lyrics to her father asking if he could help put them to music, she told Today Show host. She was scared about what his response would be, thinking all the while if this is awful is he going to tell me? But he did, and he invited me into the whole production process, and it was just such a beautiful surprise. It's such a gift for me. Alan, moved by his daughter's lyrics, composed the melody, and together they created a song that beautifully talks about the pain and hope of Maddie's journey. The song was released along Maddie's book, Lemons on Friday. Alan mentions how proud he is of Maddie's strength and resilience in an interview. He was deeply touched by her ability to articulate her feelings through the song's lyrics, even though she was not interested in music. In interviews, Alan has expressed his admiration for how Maddie handled such a heartbreaking loss and how she found a way to turn her pain into something meaningful. He describes her lyrics beautifully. It's a beautiful song, and it's well-written, lyrically, Jackson said in a press release. Maddie opened up to Alan about how much his support meant to her during her darkest times. She confessed that his unwavering love and the values he instilled in her were instrumental in helping her find strength and hope again. This heartfelt confession was a culmination of her reflections and the profound appreciation she felt for her father's role in her life. Maddie didn't stop there. She wanted the whole to know how strong her father has been. The talented singer was not only special on the stage, but he was to her and their family. During this time, she described her Alan more as a friend and companion, more than he was as a father. Maddie began sharing her story publicly, speaking at events and on various platforms about her experiences. She often highlighted the crucial role her father's love and guidance played in her healing journey. This public acknowledgement of her father's impact was both a tribute and a confession of her deep gratitude. When Alan heard his daughter's heartfelt words, he was deeply moved. At 65, he has experienced many highs and lows, but this moment with his daughter touched him profoundly. It was a powerful reminder of the impact of his love and support and how much the Jacksons cherished each other. This brought tears to his eyes and also reinforcing the strong bond they already share. Alan has it all. He has a strong bond with his family and immense success in the music industry. He has sold over 75 million records worldwide and has had 66 songs appear on the Billboard Hot Country Singles and Tracks chart. This man was a legend in his prime. His musical style of blending traditional and contemporary country music earned him numerous accolades, including two Grammy Awards, 16 CMA Awards, and 17 ACM Awards.